what is mastering? Okay. So in the textbook, there are three stages of recording. There is recording, there is mixing, and there is mastering. Now you have to understand that it doesn't even have to do with technology or day and age. Those lines are always blurred because it's music. There's no right or wrong. But let's stick to the textbook. Recording is defined as what we are doing this second. It is exactly what everyone thinks. A bunch of musicians or vocalists in a room with microphones, and you record them. That is the recording phase. Then there's the mixing stage. That is what you're going to be doing after we record this, which is you're going to be taking these microphones, and imagine if you had so many other instruments and everything, and you're mixing them, all those signals, all those channels, into two speakers because we have a left ear and a right ear. I am simplifying this to stereo. And for that's stereo anyone. versus mono. Correct. Mono is just one sound source. Stereo is... Two speakers. Two. Um, and we're just going to use stereo for today before anyone who watches this seeing my name being like, oh, there's so much more to it. I'm really reserving what I want to say right now <laughs> to that sentiment. Let's just use a simple example with stereo. We'll just we're settle taking, with stereo for today, guys. We're taking all the microphones and we're putting them, getting all these sounds musically to go into one ear and the other. That's Love it. stereo. Okay. Then there's mastering. Mastering specifically is more important when it comes down to the album because typically when you're recording or you're mixing, you're only working on one song at a time. Mm. With me, all those mixes that are now in two channels gets to me and I have the whole album now. And so now I'm looking at the the tone between everything. Yes, I'm tweaking each song for like maximizing just basically how good they sound and their presentation. Mm. I'm literally the the equivalent to what I do in the museum would be I'm the guy who lights the painting. Interesting. I don't even frame it. I'm you just I put the light you on highlight it. that frame in the painting. You highlight it. Where when you stand in the right place, it looks like a masterpiece. Mm. That's my job. Got it. And so that's what I do song to song. The other th aspect is of my job with this analogy would be uh, when you walk into like, you know, maybe it's like a Manet uh, exhibit where you walk into one room and it's all of it. It's also how you walk into the room, the impression you get, and how each painting flows together. That's the matching each song together as a presentation, as an experience. So that's where I take it. Got it, okay. So and uh, so that's my job, that's mastering. So there's three steps. Can those lines blur? Sure. Absolutely. Yeah. And they normally do. Right. It's not as textbook as what I just explained, but that explains the basis of mastering. Got it.